When it comes to many neuropsychiatric and neurodegenerative diseases like depression, schizophrenia, and Parkinson's disease, carbon nanotubes to detect dopamine, one of the brain's chemical messengers that's implicated in a variety of brain diseases. Dopamine is one of the chemicals that neurons use to transmit signals to one another. But it doesn't just move from one neuron to another, like electrons through a wire. It can also spread through the brain, more like a radio signal. And how exactly neurons respond to dopamine is still a mystery, one that's tough to solve because the responses are lightning fast, and they occur in places scientists struggle to see. To detect dopamine, Marquita and her group use nanosensors they built by pairing carbon nanotubes with polymers. When the polymers react with dopamine, they increase the nanotube's natural fluorescence to signal binding. Hotspots of dopamine show up as bursts of light when neurons in the tissue are artificially stimulated to release the chemical. If Marquita and her team want to see how a drug would affect dopamine levels, they can dose their tissue samples with the drug and watch the sensor's response change. And the team noticed something interesting. When they used a drug designed to change dopamine levels, they found that not every neuron in a sample reacted the same way to the drug. Other scientists, such as Lin Tian of UC Davis, are manipulating proteins that already exist in the human brain to build sensors. Using a virus to insert foreign DNA into brain cells, they genetically modified dopamine receptor proteins to glow green when dopamine binds. You can inject the virus into a specific brain region, and the brain region will actually express those probes on its own. 